So someone asked about getting a piece of glass into this wall void. So um, sorry it took me a while to get back with you. I've been a little busy this week, but um, it's pretty straightforward. So if you've created the void, you can pick the void family and you can go to edit in place and then you can just go to create and create another extrusion um, and make sure you have the face of the wall set. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a plane. It's already selected, but basically the same face that you had selected for the previous family. Um, and then you're just going to make an extrusion with a rectangle and basically do the same thing, right? So I'm just going to make a rectangle there and I'm going to lock the rectangle to the edges of the wall, right? And then once I get that, I'm going to do a negative one eighth inch extrusion here. Um, and then um, I'm going to hit the check. Right, and so it's going to extrude that like one eighth of an inch inside there. And then I'm going to add a material parameter to it right here. So while it's selected, while that face is selected, I'm just going to name this, you know, you can name it whatever you want. I guess you could call it glass face if it's always going to be glass. Um, but you could also just call it face if it was going to be, you know, different materials. And I'll make it an instance parameter so it comes up in the. Um, properties dialog box. I'll click OK and I'll click OK, right? And then I'll finish the model. Um, so now that's that's in there. It doesn't have, it's solid, but um, you can come in and pick this and you have that glass face material option um, parameter. And so I'm going to click on it right there and I'm going to put glass on it and I'm going to use render appearance for the glass and click OK. Right, and so now you have glass on that, and if you come in here and start changing these dimensions again, like take that to three feet, right, the whole thing should start to expand and contract for you, right? So if you move that guy down, right, it's gonna it's gonna update for you. Um, so that's how you would add glass to the face of it. Um, if I go to realistic, right, or if I render it, there will be sort of glass with reflection. There's not anything in here to adjust it, but that's that's it.